this video I show you how you can take a Chromebox and turn it into a normal computer by installing custom firmware made by the truly brilliant MrChromebox.tech. Once complete, you'll be able to install non-Chrome OS operating systems on Chromebox hardware and replace your SSD with a larger one if you want to. First off, you need to find out whether your Chromebox is ready for new firmware to be installed on it. That may involve searching for and removing a special screw within the device itself. You can see that play out in my other video, How to Upgrade an Acer Chromebox CXI. So assuming you've removed the special screw and reassembled your Chromebox, you'll need to find the hidden recovery button. It's a small hole in the system case. On this Acer Chromebox CXI, it's on the back panel. I'm using a small drill bit to press and hold the button down, but a strong paper clip or a piece of wire should do the trick. While holding the recovery button down, press the power button. When this screen appears, you're in recovery mode. Your hardware model will appear at the bottom of the screen. Check yours against mrchromebox.tech's compatibility chart. If your Chromebox has CR50 write protection, you have some extra work to do. See mrchromebox.tech for details. Now ignore the prompt about inserting a USB stick. We need to switch to developer mode instead. Press Ctrl and D. Follow the prompt and press the recovery button again, the same button you held down when you powered up the system. Your Chromebox will now tell you that operating system verification is off. The screen will blank again, and a new message will tell you that the Chromebox is transitioning to developer mode. Weird choice of words there, Google. Ah, the familiar sight of a spinning wheel. Clearly something is happening. The machine blanks again. And again. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, a welcome message. Now we hit Control and Alt and F2. At the login prompt, type Chronos and hit Enter. Now Mr. Chromebox.tech has a few lines of commands to copy and paste or to carefully retype. Pause your screen now and copy these down, or visit mrchromebox.tech if you prefer. Now my lines aren't working, oops. Don't forget to make sure you're connected to the internet. Using an ethernet cable is your safest bet. Your system will need a little time to connect to the internet if you only just plugged it in. Here we go. Next line. Oops, I left a number out. Let's try that again. And the final line. This will install and run the firmware utility. Now press 2, then enter. This will install the full ROM UEFI firmware. Mr. Chromebox.tech's notes are very helpful and reassuring. He's just reminding us that the system will now need to have a new operating system installed. If you only have one Chromebox and you might like to go back to Chrome OS one day, be sure to make a backup now. I skipped creating a backup at this step since I'd already successfully completed the same procedure on another device. This will turn your Chromebox into a normal computer. Once this step is complete, you can unplug your Chromebox, open it up, and replace the SSD with a larger one if you like. All right, the full ROM firmware is now installed. Now your system doesn't have an operating system anymore, so you should now grab a USB stick with the installer for your operating system of choice on it. 
If you don't know how to put an operating system installer on a USB stick, you can watch my video on that subject. If this is your only PC, you've painted yourself into a corner. You'll need to use a public library or school computer or phone a friend to download an operating system installer for you. Now you need to tell your Chromebox to boot from your USB stick, so type exit and press enter. Up and down arrow keys move the cursor, select boot menu, press enter. Then choose your USB from the list. Press enter. That's it. Your Chromebox has now been de-chromed and you've started installing your operating system of choice. If you don't want to shell out for a Windows license, I recommend giving Ubuntu a shot. It's easy to pick up if you're familiar with Windows or Mac interfaces and there's plenty of free software available for Ubuntu. There are also ways to run Windows applications on Ubuntu if you need to. Anyway, we made it and we didn't break anything, so have fun with your recently liberated Chromebox. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel for future digital media tips. Thanks for watching.